Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to um, install and configure DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and is very helpful in a big network. We have a lot of PCs that needs to be uh, configured with IP addresses and if you think about d touching each computer and setting up the IP address, it's going to be very painful. So DHCP takes that work over and it's much faster and easier to uh, set up and control all those IP addresses. So let's get started. First we have to install the DHCP server. In my case I already installed it so let's go through the commands I set up here. So install DHCP server and like I told you it is already installed. Then the next one is we have to um, basically configure the uh, default DHCP server 3 server file and tell them basically down here by interfaces what interface DHCP should listen to and in my case is it is ETH 0 and if you have more than one then you can enter ETH 1 or if you have a bond set up um, then you have to enter bond 0 or bond 1 whatever it is. So let me get out of here and then the uh, next one would be the uh, configuration file itself <clears throat> and I usually start out with the uh, the first option up here that is ddns-update-style and set it to none because my DHCP server at the moment doesn't do any dynamic DNS updates so this is an option I will show you later um, then the next one is uh, we have to specify the uh, internal domain name in my case it's catechist-ath-cx and then we go ahead so, to, to the next option and set up the um, domain name servers that uh, DHCP should use to uh, configure all those clients and you can use your own DNS server if you have one in your network and uh, if not then you can use your ISP DNS servers um, go ahead to the next option the next option is the default least time um, I'll set that here to 600 seconds if you have a small network it's pretty pretty good and um, if you have a larger network like 50 100 200 workstations or computers to set up then I would uh, increase that at least to 7200 or even higher because uh, imagine that um, 200 computers ask um, every 600 seconds for um, can I use this IP, can I keep this IP, or what is my new IP address that makes your server pretty busy so consider that. Then the next option would be the max lease time that uh, we can set up then uh, if a client doesn't ask it can keep this um, IP address for 7200 seconds and uh, even though if you have 10 um, workstations um, it's it's okay if you have 100 or 200 then I would set that up higher as well maybe double or triple this this value then the next option is the authoritative option I would set that always that makes sure that uh, your DHCP server is the authorized DHCP server for your network um, then the next one is lock facility. You can set up a lock level here um, with um, a grade that DHCP server will lock information in the bug files. Then the next one is the uh, subnet option. You can specify more than one subnet. If you have uh, a large network with multiple subnets, you can have one DHCP server and serve all those subnets and and in this case I set those uh, 192.168.0.0 um, and the net mask to a class C 255.255.255.0 subnet mask then we specify the uh, IP range that the HCP server should use to um, supply IP addresses to the clients like I said I have a very small network so I s just um, give DHCP server the option to supply 14 or 15 IP addresses in this case and then you go 
to the next option. Um, this is the out routers option. You should use this option always in the subnet uh, configuration block. Um, imagine if you have more than one subnet and um, you set the option up here, then every subnet or workstation in a different subnet gets always the same uh, router IP and that doesn't work well. So um, for each subnet you should have your own router IP address. In this case it would be uh, um, on the workstation will show up as the gateway IP address. <coughs> then go to the last configuration block. The last configuration block is just an example um, how you can use fixed IP addresses for uh, certain workstations. Um, like in my case, I use my workstation uh, Turrican with this uh, hardware Ethernet MAC address and tell them every time this workstation asks, it should get this fixed address here. So now we close that up and then uh, you gotta restart your um, DHCP server and everything configured correctly. It should just restart fine. And then if you want to make sure that it works, you can use a workstation and um, boot it up and then you can look in this DHCP lease file and this is the file where DHCP server always logs every IP request. So in this case, you'll see there's one workstation here on my network that got the 254 IP address. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope that helped you out, get started with DHCP. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also